And here we go. You'll notice TCU kicks across the field. That ball going into the end zone, it'll be brought out to the 20-yard line. Ed Biles, why do they kick it across the field? Well, they kicked that ball at that type of angle. It cuts down the return area. You're almost like covering only have to cover half the field. All right, let's look at the defensive alignment for the Horned Frogs of TCU. And Kevin Dean will anchor one side, Paul Jones the other. Kent Trammell is the backbone of that defensive line, however. L.B. Washington starting at one of the tackle spots, Darren Turner the other. Taylor and Spann, the linebackers, are good ones. They're a little bit thin there. We'll get to the deep backs in a moment. And on the first play of the ball game, there is Drury taking the pass from Kevin White. He's down the near sideline and out of bounds across the midfield stripe to the 47-yard line where he is chased out by Billy Jones. Number one, the free safety, a pickup of 33 yards. Well, we anticipated big play, big opening uh, starting starting play. They brought Drury in motion, then brought him back across the field. He started went one way, then cut back across the grain, was wide open. That's the type of play we anticipate out of West Virginia this evening. So the Mountaineers down in the 47-yard line. Here are the deep backs who will have to contend with that passing attack. Sean Thomas at All-America as the left cornerback. And Byron Linwood, one of the hardest hitting safeties you will ever see. Hits like a linebacker. Slot left, West Virginia. Wide again to the air. Wasting no time going for the big yardage. And again, he has hit Willie Drury. And Drury is out of bounds inside the TCU 20 at the 15-yard line. Chased out by Sean Thomas, the All-America quarterback. Well, Drury's a man that they go to. They were in a slot formation. The outside receiver went down and went to the outside. Now, Drury went down, then broke it out to the corner. TCU caught in a man-to-man -man coverage. And, of course, you see they've got Thomas lined up, taking Drury man for man. It's going to be a tough matchup to see if Thomas against Drury. Drury now 33 yards on the first reception, 28 yards on that one. The ball spotted back at the 19-yard line of TCU, West Virginia in possession. White goes to his tailback. That's Gay, and Gay slams off his own right tackle down across the 15 to about the 12. Sean Thomas, the quarterback, number 22, and Byron Linwood, 35, the strong safety, up to make the hit after a six-yard pickup. Well, that's the way you like to see your offense open up the ball game. Two quick passes, got TCU thinking pass, then they come back with the running play. Right now, West Virginia doing what they want to do. TCU has to settle down defensively. West Virginia lost its last three ball games to Virginia, Rutgers, and Temple. But tonight, they're playing like they did in the earlier part of the season when they were very healthy. That is Brown in motion to the left side. On the dive, it is Wolfley, the fullback, stopped by Turner, number 93, the defensive right tackle, a junior out of Houston, Texas, and West Virginia's inside the TCU 10. Don Naylor, we talked about him, 40 and 19 at West Virginia, four straight bowl appearances. First year he was six and six, then he had three consecutive nine and three seasons in West Virginia. This year, seven and four. It's a third down and inches to go for West Virginia. The ball inside the 10. Harvey Smith splits wide to the left side. Wolfley has the first down at the five. First and goal to go. Stopped by Gary Spann, the linebacker, number 57. And so the Mountaineers taking the opening kickoff, taking the ball from their own 20 on the touchback and marching right down to the TCU 5 where it is first and goal to go. Well, now you see down here now TCU is taking their free safety out, put an extra defensive lineman in. They'll be in what you call a six-foot defensive lineman, five defensive back or linebacker type alignment. They'll be forced to play man for man. West Virginia may try to take advantage of that. David Spradlin, 55. David Caldwell, 48, have come in to beef up the TCU line on the first and goal. A fake handoff and an incomplete pass for a touchdown to the end zone to Todd Fisher. Fisher just simply couldn't handle the ball. Garland Littles, number 20, the cornerback, the freshman, had the pass coverage on the play. It is second down and goal to go on the TCU 5. Well, it's a well-designed play, Barrel. He just uh, neglected to catch the football. They faked a play-action play, rolled out to his right. And so Fisher, of course, was wide open. Fisher from Canton McKinley, where Donnie, Donnie Naylor began his high school coaching career. And Canton McKinley has produced so many outstanding football players. Mullen is in, Smith is out as the wide out, and Mullen goes in motion for West Virginia. On the dive, straight ahead, goes the fullback, Wolfley, number 36. He is stopped by Darren Turner after a yard or so, and it'll be third down and goal to go, coming up from about the three-yard line of TCU. 
West Virginia really shocking Texas Christian the Horn Frogs reeling but that defense now called on to hold here on the third down and goal to go as TCU has been hit with two long pass plays to Willie Drury then West Virginia going back to what it does very well run the ball third and goal and here we go the tailback Gay stopped at the two yard line Kevin Dean 97 the sophomore out of Newton Texas a very tough defensive football player makes the stop at his fourth and goal Well, it's just a play now. Your offensive line really has to fire out, move them off the line of scrimmage. You see, King going right up through there. Good force in there, but the defensive secondary kept him from getting into the end zone. Good job by Taylor, the linebacker. Fisher is in as a tight end, double tight end for West Virginia. They're going to go for it. Fourth down and goal to go in the two yard line. Watch this play. Play action. Touchdown, West Virginia. Going to Wolfley, the fullback, coming out of the backfield. And the Mountaineers on a fourth and goal to go. Go for the big one and get it. Well, what they what they forced uh, TCU's defense to do was uh, the big sophomore, David Caldwell. They forced him to get involved in coverage. You see him coming across the motion. Now, there's the fake inside. Now, that outside linebacker position has to get out there to cover it. Very difficult coverage for Caldwell, a sophomore. This is kind of what we anticipated, Merrill, that with some of these sophomores playing, there might be a mistake or two made. A little bit of a pick in for the touchdown. And, of course, Don Nalen showed it's going to be a wide-open ball game as we anticipated. Now the extra point try. It'll be Paul Woodside, the All-America kicker, for the try and bangs away at it and kicks it right through the uprights of the Mountaineers. Take a 7-0 lead with 11 minutes, 32 seconds to go in the first quarter. They take the opening kickoff and drive 80 yards for a lead touchdown. And so... With the timeout of the field, it is West Virginia 7, TCU nothing will return to the Astrodome. After